Salute to parentes. All right, so these are the techniques, the English techniques that we went over this week in class. Uh, just a reminder in case, you know, your brain explodes, uh, which we hope doesn't happen, so good luck. All right, here we go. So we have copycat. You put up a wall, and then with your other hand, you make a cat, and your cat takes treats from your hand. Right? This is copycat, which means when I do this, you do and say exactly what I do and say. So if I jump up and down on one foot and shout hooray, you do the same thing. I know, silly, but uh, fun for me. Okay, then we have full. Right? Full is from about here to about your navel. All right, anything lower than your navel means, hey, I'm so super empty that you could pour all sorts of knowledge in me right now and I would just soak it right up like a sponge. All right, whereas full right here means I'm so full that uh, my brain's going to puke. And up here means I'm really over full and overwhelmed and I need to go to the ah, meadow All right, to just kind of decompress. All right, so this depends on how full you are. All right, next one. I don't understand. You do this when you don't understand. And when one person does this, everybody does this. Right? It's better because it gets my attention because I can hear it if my back is to you and I'm doing something on the board. Let's see. Distraction. Right? If something is distracting you and you do this, that makes me aware of it so I can take care of it or so somebody else can take care of it. This is for two things. Number one, if you make a mistake and then you go, oh, 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 mirabile! Or if you make a connection and you're like, oh my gosh, I totally get it! Then, mirabile! Slowly. Slowly. That's if I'm going way too fast and you're like, whoa, lady, slowly roll. Slow down. We have louder, as in if I'm talking too quietly or you were talking too quietly. Louder, please speak louder, I can't hear you. Good. Or quieter, as in, you're making my head hurt. Quieter, please. And lastly, again. So you put your hand up like you want a cookie, and you say, put a cookie in my hand, again. Right? So this is if you want me to repeat something. Right? Again, do it again. Put another cookie in my hand. Put a cookie in my hand, again, and again, and again. So to my knowledge, yep, those are all the techniques we went over this week. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And next, I'll go ahead and do the vocabulary that we went over. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you Wednesday.